What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we talk about Shopify. You've probably heard all of the buzz about it, but the pricing is kind of confusing. They have three different plan options between basic Shopify, Shopify, and advanced Shopify. So which one should you choose? I'm gonna lay out all the details, the differences between features and the different plans, and then I'm gonna give you a very simple tool that will very easily determine which plan is right for you. So stay tuned for that. And also hold on to the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving away a free Shopify trial and a free consultation with me. I'll let you know exactly how to set up your Shopify store to optimize it for the highest conversion rates. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this Shopify pricing. Let's take a look at the pricing differences for each of the plans available. Basic Shopify runs $29 a month. Shopify costs $79 a month, and Advanced Shopify costs $299 per month. So what exactly are you getting that makes Advanced Shopify cost 10 times more than Basic Shopify? Let's start out with Shop Shopify staff accounts. Basic Shopify comes with two, and you're able to get more accounts as you pay a premium for more advanced plans. Most people don't honestly need more staff accounts, and in my opinion, this isn't really a feature that determines paying more for most people. A couple other features that I want to look at are gift cards, professional reports, and third-party calculated shipping rates. So gift cards is a nice feature that people kind of like to have on their Shopify stores, but once again, not a deal breaker. You can definitely install Shopify apps that do this for you, and while you do pay for those on a monthly basis, it's something that you can do later on if you decide you want it and you can always upgrade if you need gift cards but it's not really a reason to upgrade professional reports are cool uh, but in my opinion honestly not a deal breaker either uh, these reports are cool because they tell you what your best selling products are and your best selling SKUs of those products uh, but that's something that you can easily figure out for yourself so we've now covered most of the features there's a couple more that i'm going to go into later but i kind of want to hit on the biggest reason to decide between the different shopify plans and that is the rate that you're going to pay for online credit card transactions based upon each plan and so with the shopify basic plan at 30 dollars a month you are paying 30 cents per transaction plus a 2.9 percent fee and that fee gets bumped down to 2.6 percent when you pay $50 more per month for that normal Shopify plan. So if you do the math there, that $50 multiplied by the 0.03% decrease kind of gives us that break even point at which it now makes sense financially uh, to upgrade to that next level of Shopify plan. And so I've gone ahead and done the math so that you guys can see what monthly sales it takes to make sense to upgrade to that next plan. I'm going to pull that up here, and as you can see, Shopify Basic makes sense between $0 in sales per month all the way up to $16,600 per month. And then you want to bump up into the next bracket of that normal Shopify plan at $79 per month. And you can hold on to that all the way up to $110,000 per month, at which point you then want to switch to Shopify Advanced. Now, Shopify Advanced saves you another 0.02% on each credit card transaction made but you're also paying $220 per month more than you were on that previous transaction. So in a lot of cases, it doesn't really make sense to upgrade all the way to that Shopify advanced plan. And the last thing that we're gonna look at, which is a factor that people definitely consider, but you know, once again, not a huge factor, is a couple uh, mailing discounts that you're gonna get. You get shipping discounts when you upgrade uh, to the next tier and those are kind of cheaper rates when you're shipping with the USPS UPS or DHL and you know those are nice kind of bonuses to have assuming that you're not drop shipping and you're actually mailing out your products yourself but you know once again not a deal breaker here so what it all comes down to is really you know how much you're paying on credit card transaction fees uh, other features in my opinion aren't really deal breakers you might be scaling up as a business and want to add more staff accounts. At that point, I'm assuming you're probably doing more money in sales anyways. Uh, so, you know, now that you can take those away, what you really are looking at is just some simple math. And, you know, if you guys want... <clears throat> so I provided down below a free link to get that free 14-day trial with Shopify. You can go ahead and use that if you want to sign up. And I will, if you provide some proof to me that you signed up... <clears throat> 
So I'll drop a free link down below in the description so that you guys can kind of sign up and get that free trial if you want. If you use my link, you get access to a free consultation with me. I'm going to go over everything with you from how to set up your store to kind of how to maximize conversion rates and sell more on your Shopify store. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Shopify updates.